<laughs> Hi guys, what's up? I hope you guys aren't too freaked out by my makeup today and my whole wardrobe but today's tutorial as you can tell from the title is going to be a Halloween look and it's going to be an evil fairy slash fallen angel look. This is just my take on an evil fairy or fallen angel. It may not be everybody's cup of tea but I really wanted it to be bloody and crazy and um spooky so this may not be everybody's go-to look for you know an evil fairy but I feel like a fallen angel could be like a demon fairy and I feel like we all know from horror movies that demons take your soul so I am the soul catcher <laughs> and um, clearly it's quite a bloody look. It was a lot of fun to do. My last look was poison ivy and that was very pretty so I really wanted to do a gory-ish kind of look, kind of scary. So I hope you guys like it. And I'm just wearing these wings, which I got from Spirit Halloween. They were only like $23, $24, and I really like them because they stand up. And uh, the wig is also from Spirit Halloween, and this wig is just like a black witch wig, but it fits the look really well. Plus, plus my neck is like tan, so I'm like concealing, you know, that. Um, so I hope you guys are excited for this tutorial and if you would like to see how to get this evil fairy slash fallen angel look, then just keep watching. Thanks guys! So to begin, I blacked out my eyebrows using a glue stick. There are so many tutorials on this, just go ahead and type it into the search bar on YouTube. Going in with my NYX Photo Loving Primer, I am going to prime my face. And then I'm going to take my Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation, which is a few shades lighter than my skin tone. And that's going to create a really, really pale, scary effect. And that's the whole idea behind it. Instead of putting paint all across my face, I like to do it this way. It's a little bit better for me, in my opinion. So now I'm going to set my brows using Youngblood's HD Translucent Powder. And then taking a stiff brush and some black gel liner, I'm going to go ahead and draw in really thin eyebrows. Any fairy pictures I looked up, um, especially evil fairies, they always had like thin eyebrows. Very, very thin. And of course black. Just take your time with this because it can be a little tricky, but if you work with a really stiff brush, it makes it much easier. So now I'm going to be taking my white grease paint and a sponge, and the grease paint I got from Spirit Halloween. And I'm going to highlight my face using the paint, so basically, Wherever you would highlight with concealer, you're going to highlight with paint. Working with this grease paint was actually fairly easy. I know some people struggle working with paints, but I think if you get a grease paint, it's more uh, blendable and easier to work with, so that's just my recommendation. <laughs> So here I'm just going in with my flat uh, brush and I just feel like it was easier to blend than using the sponge at this point. So just to blend everything out I'm just using my flat brush. Now I'm going to be taking Too Faced Shadow Insurance Eyeshadow Primer and placing this on my lids just to ensure that my eyeshadows are going to stay long lasting. I'm going to go in with Cover from the Urban Decay Naked 2 Basics palette and I'm just going to place it right into my crease and then all the way around my eye 
to kind of hollow out my eye. And just be sure to really, really blend it out. Now I'm taking my NYX box of eyeshadows and I'm going to be taking that matte brown color and this is a completely different crease brush and I'm just going to basically contour my face using that brown and I'm also going to mix in some black just to really make me look gaunt and terrifying. I feel like working with a smaller brush is much more better. It just gets right in there and it carves everything out and you could always go back in and blend it out after but Working with a smaller brush definitely is more appropriate for this kind of a look. Now I'm going to be taking that red and I'm going to be taking a shadow brush and placing it right in the center of my lids. And then taking some black on a crease brush and hollowing out my eyes and basically just creating black rings, just a black circle. Here I'm just taking a red lip liner and lining my waterline. It kind of gives you that bloodshot, bloody eye look. A little more terrifying. I'm also taking some of that red again and I'm just going right along the edges of the black. I'm definitely going to be adding some blood to this look so I feel like adding the red around the black just really gets things set in motion for that. Now I'm taking my Ben Nye Bruise Wheel and I'll be taking those two red shades in a really, really stiff brush and I'm going to start to draw in veins. They can just be like squiggly lines and that pretty much resembles veins. You guys could even look up like vein pictures if you need help or whatever but it's pretty easy. And working with a stiff brush really helps. Now I'm lining my lips with a black liner and I'm going to extend the corners into a wing to make it a little more creepy. And I'm also using NYX's Macaroon Lipstick and it's the black one. And I'm going to be taking that blue shade from the bruise wheel and just putting that right into my under eye just to, again, make it a lot more creepy and to really deepen and darken the under eye circles. And then here I'm applying my Ardell 115 lashes. They are quite dramatic, but I really wanted her to have lashes. Now I'm going to go pop on my wig and put on my wings. There we go. And I'm going to take that Young Blood High Definition Translucent Powder again and just set my face before we start to apply blood. Now I'm going to be taking my Graftobian Stage Blood and my Graftobian Blood Paste. And I'm going to apply the blood paste first just to Put it all around my mouth and make it look like I just got done eating somebody's soul. <laughs> I take souls and I also eat souls. <laughs> so apply as much as you want and as little as you want. This is totally up to you. I love blood. I mean it's Halloween and I feel like it's just so much fun. So I'm also adding in the stage blood just to make it look really fresh and wet.
I am applying the blood paste to where the veins are. The veins just weren't enough for me, so I wanted more blood and more gore. So I decided to add this. You could leave the veins or you could add the blood. I kind of left it optional for you guys. It's entirely up to you. But I decided to add blood to make it a lot more scarier. And so that completes my Evil Fairy Fallen Angel look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. And if you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, requests, please leave it below. And I hope you guys have a safe and happy Halloween. And until next time, I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Mwah!